This is one of my most anticipated ball python clutches ever. I started breeding here a year ago and today I finally got eggs. The father was a banana mojave pinstripe 100% het monsoon and the mother is a classic 100% het monsoon. Together these snakes can make some pretty rare and amazing looking snakes. I then placed all of the eggs inside of an egg box. The egg box helps ensure that the eggs stay at the right humidity level during incubation. I'll put them in the incubator and in about 55 to 60 days we should have new baby snakes. These ball python eggs are on day 5 of incubation. And I noticed something interesting while I was candling the eggs. Strong veins are a sign that the egg is healthy and fertile. This egg had weaker veins than the rest. And it's also the only egg that she wasn't wrapped around when I pulled the clutch. The rest of the eggs look good. So I'm wondering if she knew that there was an issue with that egg. Regardless, I'm going to continue to incubate the egg and we'll see if it hatches successfully or if it goes bad. These ball python eggs are on day 7 of incubation. The eggs have a little bit of a bumpy texture to them, and some of them even have egg windows. These are areas where the egg didn't fully calcify. One possible reason the eggs came out like this is due to the snake's diet while she was pregnant. She went off food for a few months before she laid her eggs. Or it could have been how the eggs were situated while they were inside of her. Regardless, these eggs are looking really good and the mother is recovering nicely. These ball python eggs are on day 13 of incubation. There are 8 eggs in this clutch, which is a little more than normal. Average size for a ball python clutch is about 6 eggs. The parents of this clutch were both 100% het monsoons. Since both parents were hets, each egg stands about a 25% chance of producing a visual monsoon. Which is what I'm really after, so we'll just have to see how the odds play out. These ball python eggs are on day 22 of incubation, and they're looking slightly dehydrated. They've always had that wrinkly type texture to them because of how they calcified. However, today they appear to have some slight dimpling. Dimpling is normal toward the end of incubation, but these eggs are only on day 22. So I'm going to do two things to make sure the eggs stay hydrated. First, I'm going to add a little extra water to the vermiculite and perlite substrate. This will increase and maintain the overall humidity level inside of the egg box. The second thing I'll do is lay a damp paper towel on top of the eggs. I'll leave this on for a day or two so the eggs could soak up some of that moisture. We need a little humidity, but overall the eggs are looking good. These ball python eggs are on day 26 of incubation. In the last update, they were looking a little bit dehydrated. So I added a little water to the substrate and I covered the eggs in a damp paper towel. After looking at and feeling the eggs, I could tell they plumped up a little bit, which means the eggs absorbed some of that moisture and now are hydrated it much better. We're about 30 days away from these snakes hatching. Most of the snakes organs and features are already developed. They just need a few more weeks to grow and to develop the skills to survive. These ball python eggs are on day 38 of incubation. We should start to see some eggs hatching in about 20 days. When I opened the egg box, I got the faintest smell of something that wasn't quite right. It wasn't the smell of a bad egg, but it wasn't the usual smell. As I inspected the eggs, the only thing I could see is this spot right here. The egg has a spot that sort of has a wet look to it, which can be an indicator that the egg is going bad. It doesn't look too bad right now, but I'm going to keep a close eye on it. I inspected all the other eggs and I didn't see anything out of the ordinary. After a second look at the egg, I decided that I wanted to add Add some antifungal powder as a preventative measure. The powder will help prevent any mold from growing on the outside of the eggs. However, if something happened to the embryo inside the egg and the egg is going bad from the inside out, the powder is not going to help. At that point, there's really nothing you could do to save the egg. I don't know if that's the case here or not, but I'm going to add the powder just in case. We're over the halfway mark now, so it won't be long before we start to see some eggs hatching. And I'm really excited to see what hatches out. 44 days ago, this snake laid her eggs. She laid a total of 8 eggs, and all of the eggs were fertile. After determining that all of the eggs were fertile, I marked the tops of each egg with an X. Rotating snake eggs during incubation can harm the embryo, so I marked the tops with an X so I know which way is up during incubation. After marking the eggs, I put all of the eggs inside of an egg box. The egg box helps me organize my clutches and maintain the proper humidity levels. These are ball python eggs, so they take about 55 to 60 days to hatch. And these eggs are on day 44, so we're about 10 to 15 days to see in these eggs hatch. When you look at these eggs now, they look significantly different from when she first laid them. It's normal for the eggs to start to dent and dimple at this stage of the incubation process. In my last update, we treated this egg with some antifungal powder to prevent mold from growing. I don't see any mold 
mold, but something about the smell is off. But at this point in time, my best option is just to continue to incubate at the proper temperature and humidity levels and hope for the best. We should see some baby snakes really soon. These ball python eggs are on day 53 of incubation and they're starting to hatch. You could see that this little one used its egg tooth to slice open the egg and poke its head out. I can't tell what the full genetics are on this one, but it looks like it's definitely a banana. Now this clutch has potential to be monsoons which is a really unique and rare morph right now. So I'm really hoping to hatch out some visual monsoons so I could show you guys. Monsoons are very valuable right now because they're so rare. Looking at the rest of this clutch, I don't see any other snakes hatching. But usually after one pips, the rest of them aren't far behind. So we should see the rest in about a day or two. And let's hope some are monsoons. These ball pythons are on day 54 of incubation and one already crawled out of the egg. It appears to be a banana mojave pinstripe, which is a combination of three different genes and that's what gives it its color and pattern. It's not the monsoon that we're looking for, but it is a beautiful snake. Two more snakes also pip. Pipping is when the snake uses its egg tooth to slice open the egg when it's ready to hatch. After they pip, it takes about a day or two for them to crawl out. I don't see any other pips right now, but I expect to see more really soon. We'll put them back in the incubator and check up on them tomorrow. These ball python eggs are on day 55 of incubation and five out of the eight eggs have pipped. Like the one from yesterday, this one is another banana combination. And this one is also some sort of banana combination. So we have at least three bananas and they're likely females. I'm assuming that they're females because I'm told that the father is a female maker. Now this egg is the egg that had the funny smell, but the snake inside pipped. So as far as I could tell, it's doing well. These two are the only eggs that didn't pip yet, but I have a feeling that they're going to really soon. Overall, it looks like everyone's healthy and the clutch is doing really well. We'll put them back in the incubator and check up on them tomorrow. These ball python eggs are on day 56 of incubation and they all pip. This one looks like a pinstripe, which is a genetic morph that affects the snake's pattern. The next one to crawl out of the egg is hiding behind the thermometer. This one appears to be a banana Mojave pinstripe, which is a combination of three different genes. And she is an active little bugger. If you look here, you can see where her umbilical cord was attached. So it's a little snake belly button. This one appears to be a Mojave pinstripe, also known as a jigsaw. This clutch has a lot of great pinstripe combinations, but I still haven't seen the monsoon that I'm hoping for. I'm not certain what these two are yet. The one on the left looks similar to the Mojave pinstripe, but the one on the right is darker and doesn't look like the other. I'm hoping that's the elusive monsoon that I'm after. And this one appears to be a banana Mojave. There's only one more egg and one more shot at getting that monsoon. Based on the color of the snake, I could definitely tell that it's a banana. When I spread open the egg, I could see some spots on its back, which is indicative to the monsoon morph. I'm not 100% certain, but I think we got one. So I think we hit one, maybe two monsoons. I'll get these little ones back in the incubator and I'll update you tomorrow. These ball python eggs are on day 57 of incubation and they're all out of their eggs. If you've been following their journey, you'll remember that I've been hoping to hatch a monsoon. And we got one. We actually got a banana monsoon, so it's a mixture of the two genes. There's not many of these in the world right now, so I'm really excited. The only downside is there is a slight kink in her tail. It's very mild, so I don't think it'll impact anything health-wise. Her underbelly looks a little discolored and a little bloated. I'm hoping it just needs a little time to heal, but only time will tell. This one, I believe, is a banana Mojave and it should be a female. All of the bananas in the clutch should be females because the father was a female maker. The next snake is a pinstripe. I was hoping for a monsoon pinstripe because I don't think anyone has hatched any yet. This next one is a Mojave pinstripe. You can see the difference between the Mojave pinstripe and the regular pinstripe. And last but not least is a classic. A classic is just a ball python that looks like it would naturally. However, like all of these snakes, it may carry the gene to make more monsoons.